How to add similar fractions or fractions with the same denominators. Number one, four sevenths plus two sevenths is equal to six out of seven. Since this is a proper fraction and it is in its lowest term, then six sevenths is the final answer. Number two, three sixths plus four sixths is equal to 6 out of 6, as shown in the figure above, plus 1 6, which also gives us 7 6. Converting 6 over 6 to 1 whole, we have 1 plus 1 6, giving us a sum of 1 and 1 6. Since 1 6 is already a proper fraction and it's reduced to lowest term, then 1 and 1 6 is the final answer. At this time, let's add similar fractions without illustrations. Number 3, 5 6 plus 2 6 is equal to 7 6. Since this is improper, we have to change it to a mixed number by dividing 7 by 6, which gives us 1 and 1 6. So the final answer is 1 and 1 6 since 1 6 is also a proper fraction and it is already simplified. Number 4, 7 tenths plus 1 tenth is equal to 8 tenths. Since this is still to be simplified, we have to divide both by the same number, which is 2. The final answer is 4 fifths since 4 fifths also is a proper fraction and it is in its simplest form. Number 5, 11 fifteenths plus 4 fifteenths is equal to 15 fifteenths, which can be simplified to 1. And this is the final answer. Number 6, 8 ninths plus 7 ninths is equal to 15 ninths, which can still be reduced by 3. So the reduced form is 5 thirds, which is an improper fraction that can still be changed to a mixed number. By dividing 5 by 3, it gives us 1 and 2 thirds. So 5 thirds is equivalent to 1 and 2 thirds, which is considered as a final answer for this item because 2 thirds is already a proper fraction and it is in its lowest term. Now let us add mixed numbers with similar fractions. Number 7. 5 and 5 ninths plus 1 and 1 ninth. First, you have to add the whole numbers 5 and 1, so we get 6. Then add 5 ninths and 1 ninth, we get 6 ninths. Since 6 ninths can still be reduced by 3, bring down 6, and the reduced form of 6 ninths is 2 thirds. So the final answer is 6 and 2 thirds. Number 8. 7 and 7 eighths plus 5 and 1 eighth. Add 7 and 5, so we get 12. 7 eighths plus 1 eighth is 8 eighths. And we know that this can still be simplified. So bring down 12 and then do not copy 8 eighths anymore. Instead, you replace it with one whole. So adding 12 and 1, we get a final answer of 13. Number 9, 3 plus 5 is 8, 9 tenths plus 3 tenths is equivalent to 12 tenths. This can still be reduced by 2, so bring down 8, and the reduced form is 6 fifths. Since this is still improper, we have to divide 6 by 5 to make it into a mixed number, 1 and 1 fifth. So bring down 8, do not copy 6 fifths anymore, instead, you have to replace it with 1 and 1 fifth. Put them together, we have a sum of 9 and 1 fifth. For your practice, add the following fractions and mix numbers. All final answers should be in its simplest form. If the fraction is improper, change it to a mixed number. Kindly pause the video if you want to do these exercises by yourself and replay it for the answers. These are the answers for items one up to six.
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like this video, kindly click like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet, and share this with your friends. Again, whatever problems we have, whether in math or in life, there is always one or more solutions. In adding fractions, the process may get complicated, but in the end, its answers are all in its simplest form. As our days are added, our life may get complicated too. But at the end of the day, what really matters is that we have simply lived it as the Lord wants it to be. This is Teacher Zilla reaching out to you from Cagayan de Oro, your Pinay math teacher.